Vegetation. Perhaps the single most critical element which maintains the delicate balance of this living planet. A thin layer of soil must support plant growth and humus is the foundation of this life-giving, life-sustaining chain. Humus is the organic component of soil which is created by the conversion of microorganisms, streptomycin, fungi, and earthworms into humic acid. Without humic acids, vegetation and animal life as we know it could not exist. Actisol is an Arctech humic acid-based innovation. Like naturally occurring humus, Actisol promotes the conversion of fertilizer into plant available nutrients. Furthermore, with regular use, Actisol improves soil texture and increases moisture retention. Arctech is a bio-research company dealing in the bio-conversion of coal into alternative fuels. During research in that process, Arctech found that certain types of coal contained a high natural content of humic acids. Further investigation revealed that humic acids are actually the preeminent active ingredient in organic soils, and they are responsible for the conversion of fertilizer into plant nutrients. Humic acids advance seed germination. They also increase root mass and promote moisture retention in both plant and soil cells. A hundred years ago, naturally occurring soils contained about 25% humic acids. However, the soils of today are lower in humic acid content. For example, soils A and B from a residential area contain less than 1% humic acids, whereas the fortified soils, which are rich in humus matter, contained about 3%. Over the years, soil erosion, construction, strip mining, and other land clearing activities have reduced the content of humic acids, causing nutrients to either leach through the soil or run off. Reintroduction of humic acids helps to restore and hold the nutrients in place, which in turn discourage leaching and runoff. Furthermore, like natural humic acids, the humic acids contained in Actisol have high cation exchange properties. Micronutrients such as iron, copper, zinc, and macronutrients such as potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus are locked up in the soil. As a result, plants have no way to use those nutrients. Actisol, when used in conjunction with a fertilization program, chelate those nutrients to make them available to the plant. Actisol is currently being used in a wide variety of applications and our list of satisfied clients continues to grow. Living in Ocean City, Maryland and being right on the Atlantic Ocean is, uh, is certainly exciting and a lot of fun. However, there are certain things that uh, do give us some concern and one is that uh, the only thing between us and the ocean is a pile of sand. And of course, uh, to uh, do anything with that pile of sand has always been a very severe challenge to the Corps of Engineers of the United States Army, as well as the city of uh, Ocean City and the state of Maryland. And recently, uh, a member of our organization here, or an owner in our building, uh, brought to my attention uh, this uh, product that that he thought we uh, might be able to make some use of here in Ocean City, which was the uh, Actisol. And so he arranged for his crew or his people or his associates to come to Ocean City and take a section of our uh, dune out front and uh, plant some grass seed along with this uh, chemical that they had and told me to water it a little bit and uh, let him know what happened. As uh, the days uh, quickly went by, I couldn't believe my eyes. It uh, was almost like, uh, sounds corny, but it was like a miracle. The next thing I knew, there was grass all over the dune. And that was what I could see, which of course, I thought, well, of course, that may be just what we can see on the surface. And it wasn't but a couple of weeks later that we went out with a shovel 
and uh, actually dug up the, uh, the sod and saw that there were roots of uh, anywhere from four to six inches deep at that time and the grass had only been growing for less than a month. But the big thing will be that it will have this root network that will hold the sand so that as these storms come by that are coming at a fairly regular pace right now, will not wash our dune out into our front parking lot and will keep us uh, somewhat more safe than we've been in the past. Well, before Actisol, there was actually no product that we, never, we could use like this because uh, there was no, nothing unavailable. So we used just uh, more iron, and more iron costs more money. And uh, with Actisol, we find that we can use less, less uh, iron and get the nutrients up in the tree much quicker and uh, get that better tree. We look for results, and uh, we, we find we're using Actisol, we get a much better tree. We get more iron, uh, iron up, uptake, more nutrient uptake with less, less iron used. We use it with nitroform. Nitroform is a very difficult, uh, the powder blue is a very difficult product to work with because it settles down the bottom of the tank and uh, doesn't want to come out that well. So Acosol frees that up. Uh, it has some effect on getting the, the nitroform uh, into your hose and getting it into the tree. Also, we've used this with Coron. Works very well with Coron. And uh, we find that we have a much better, bitter tree with using a less, less iron, which, which means a profit increase. I'd recommend anybody using it, uh, using Nitroform, Coron, or Urea, whatever you're using, it, it's going to enhance your, enhance your business because your customers are going to be happier with that tree. The tree seems to stay greener longer and you're not going to have that repetitious uh, knocking on the door saying that uh, we need to treat that treat again because the, the tree is uh, getting pale leaves. So really, in essence, what happens is that you're, you're getting some longevity out of the treatment with using Ecosol. The humic acids definitely do encourage more root production and deeper root production. We definitely had a uh, increase in root production on that in that year's growth. I do feel that there is a future for biostimulants and uh, products like Actisol in sod production. It has at times definitely stimulated root growth, especially in our area where we cannot irrigate. Uh, any extra root production is obviously going to be a great benefit to the sod producer. My name is uh, Tony Smith. I'm with Chambers, Laurel Highlands Landfill here in Vintendale, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm looking at uh, on the top of the old landfill here where uh, we had some seed planted and then there's areas that we had planted with uh, Actisol mixed in with it and you can see the difference where it's much greener and fuller As you look out over, uh, you can see some construction going on, and immediately in front of me is some of the area that we had treated. This area you're looking at here was very barren, dry clay, you couldn't get anything to grow on it. And this was one of the uh, areas that we drive of Actisol and you can see how the vegetation has grown, how green it is, and thick. I travel uh, mostly uh, western Pennsylvania and deal with a variety of construction sites. And uh, what a lot of people do at, in construction sites is strip the topsoil and try to make what they can out of it. And what's left is uh, a lot of uh, subsoils that are very standard trying to grow seed. And what, what we've seen is uh, basically is that uh, the uh, grass uh, has a very uh, difficult time of getting going and you have to add some organic matter to the uh, soils. And we've used Actisol with various uh, people who uh, are doing right-of-way construction which would be uh, basically shelly types of soils. Uh, other people that are looking at this are uh, pipeline uh, and construction people that uh, when they're in the back uh, lands, uh, you have uh, high acidy content soils and grass uh, doesn't germinate as well through there. So uh, some people are looking uh, to using the Actisol for uh, a quicker germination. Again, uh, you get a better germination and it uh, slows down your erosion and uh, everybody is uh, pretty much happy. And another application is in the golf course. Uh, 
many golf courses are, are constructed to the, uh, you're looking at the 90% sand greens. And what that does is that uh, in the uh, Mid-Atlantic region, a lot of uh, people are complaining in the golf course that, that golf courses use too much water. So a lot of superintendents have to be concerned about water use, usage. And uh, greens and tees uh, is the signature of any type of golf course. Uh, that's, that's what public is looking at. So what we're trying to do is uh, use Actisol uh, uh, from maybe three ounces to six ounces per thousand and try to find where that happy medium is. Uh, we've seen Actisol being used on uh, sand dunes uh, on the East Coast and we're hoping that uh, we're going to get that type of development uh, with some of these other p uh, golf people. For a number of years I have been looking for a good organic fertilizer that would give me the type of uh, color quality that I get from the chemicals but of course using the organic. Been through a number of products and then I found Actisol I've been using Actisol now for two years. I am very pleased with the product. It's ease in mixing for one thing. Um, a few things that I have noticed um, with the product is first off that one thing that really impressed me was the fact that before I started a service going out, be it chemical or organic, I would notice that the Actisol lawns that I have been using on uh, were a darker color green before I'd done anything for the beginning of the season. That impressed me a great deal. Also, I have noticed um, the color is very, very similar to a chemical fertilization. And using the organic, that is saying something a lot of times. The, the root development, the grass seems stronger, more disease resistant than I have noticed on chemical lawns that I have worked with in the past. But we also have a large um, clientele that require hydro seeding. It is just um, our, the way we do things anymore, we used to just go out and hydro seed with, uh, you know, uh, the seed and the mulch. Now Actisol is part of the mixture every time and we've noticed a lot more success in our hydro seeding process where a lot of times in the past we would um, have to go back and redo and redo. Just very happy with the product. I think it's a great product. A great product that um, I'll continue to use. I'm Robert Lawson, Gordonsville, Virginia. We're standing on Spring Hill Farm, which was purchased back in 1929. I'm third generation farmer. We're looking at a crop behind us right now, which is uh, sorghum, which was double cropped in behind wheat. Uh, we have been on a liquid program in our fertilizer for 18 years now. I also use the fertilizer plus I sell the fertilizer. Today we're talking about a product that we added into that program is called Actisol. It's an organic humate. Uh, many features about that as, as, as a big plus. Number one, it increases the organic the carbon and that for it holds moisture for the plant to get through a dry spell. Number two, it will flow through the corn planter, through the grain drill or the sprayer, almost like a silicone mix. It, it's very compatible with the fertilizers. Uh, the third thing, it, it chelates that fertilizer where we have an uptake in that plant uh, very quickly uh, once it's applied. Uh, we've noticed also that we're having a, a tilt. Uh, it increases that in the soil and uh, it's, that's a plus to get that organic and the tilt up on that soil. Uh, we've also seen an increase in yields. We're talking about pens on the crop anywhere from 5 to 25 bushels uh, per acre. Uh, we talk about money in your pocket ratios. We're looking at anywhere from today's market, anywhere from 3 to 1, 5 to 1 to 10 to 1 ratio as far as a return on your investment. That's what we, uh, we're just, it's just a perfect tool to use now. The price of the grains, uh, the way the uh, weather patterns are, it's a win-win situation. I've been using Acrosol now for about three years, and uh, I, I like it more and more all the time. It seems like every year I, I can see something different in the plant. It's growing better. It's it holding moisture. It's, it's, uh, 
the crop just jumps out at me when we get a good rain and these last three years have been hard on us with these droughts and and uh, I can see a lot of difference in the crops looking at other people's crops and some of theirs burn up and mine didn't burn up and it just held in there until finally we did get sufficient enough rain to, to make it. Yes, uh, this is Freddie Dabb. I live in East Bend, North Carolina and I've been a farmer all my life and all I've never worked at public work or anything but uh, we got into using this after saw uh, about two years ago and yeah, it has really done a fantastic job and we uh, we've got a bean crop this year that really looks good and all the whole crop is good and it's been real hot and dry and we've we really suffered on our corn but uh, our beans is uh, gonna be fantastic as far as what it's doing and uh, I really believe that uh, we've used it two years and it has it, it done good last year but uh, this year it looks like it's even better and uh, we are going to keep on using it because it is a product that ain't very expensive and all as far as per acre and it really pays off in my book and especially with these beans as high as they are and on corn it's, it's showing us good results on it because our neighbors is running 15 to 30 bushel to acre and, and we've been running 60 or better and uh, we've had some as high as 100 so that tells me it, it, it's something really kicking it and all in corn with the heat we had uh, 10 days of 105 degree weather right in pollination and all and, and uh, ours pollinated a lot better than our neighbors did and all and I contributed to the after saw and uh, it, it's done real great on these beans and all because they went through a lot of heat and stuff too and dry weather and my neighbors asked me said what in the world are you doing on your stuff that we're not doing so they're beginning to wonder what's going on so it's looking great. My name is David Witt. Uh, my wife Debbie and I operate a farm here in Blue Ridge. We farm about 150 acres. This particular farm we're standing on today uh, belonged to my grandfather. He started farming here in 1930. Uh, we raise uh, black Angus cattle, have a nice herd of Angus cattle. We raise enough hay and forage to feed those cattle throughout the winter and also raise some hay to sell for horses. Um, had an opportunity back in March, I uh, was approached by a salesman to use a nutrient enhancer and uh, I went ahead and tried some of that nutrient enhancer on some hay land, some mixed grass hay land that I had. Uh, we actually did a field test and used the competition on part of the field and used the nutrient enhancer on the other part. We applied it uh, directly to triple 19 fertilizer and put it on the hay land in March. Uh, we had a good season in May, a lot of rain and a, a good crop yield. and. Uh, didn't notice any difference between the nutrient enhancer and the competition. Uh, both yielded very well. Uh, after that, uh, summertime set in, and as usual around here, it was very hot and very dry in, uh, in July. And I uh, went ahead and started my second cutting on that field test there, and I noticed that the hay that I was cutting with the nutrient enhancer seemed to be yielding better than the competition. So I, I called the uh, factory rep, and he come out and ran some tests on it, and we got the hay cured and raked and baled and after it was baled there was a significant increase on the hay land with the nutrient enhancer compared to the uh, uh, competition. Also did a test analysis on the uh, on the hay both fields there and, and the hay that with the nutrient enhancer analyzed very much higher in protein and uh, nutrients. Uh, I really like this product this is the first year that I've used it uh, several things that I like about it. Um, number one, it's made from coal. And uh, this, in these days and times, uh, coal gets a bad rap, you know, for the energy. But this is a good, uh, creative way to use the coal. We have coal mines here in Virginia and West Virginia close by. And I'm excited about using that and helping those guys out there, especially in the ag program here. Um, the next thing I like about uh, the nutrient enhancer is it builds humic acid in the soil. Um, a lot of our land and the farms around us have been farmed for generations and we're finding that the humic acid is very low. By applying this product we can increase the humic acid which 
uh, enhances the plant, enhances root growth, which would take up more moisture. We actually seen that this summer with the crop here in July, the dry weather. Uh, it got more moisture somehow and had to be by enhanced uh, root growth. The other thing that I like about um, the nutrient enhancer um, is that it's organic. And anytime you can apply that word organic to your farming operation, the public really likes to hear that. Uh, so that's three things in a row. I didn't mention the price. The price of the nutrient enhancer is about one fourth of the competition. So that price coupled with my increased production uh, makes uh, quite a bit uh, more profit there on those acres that I serve. I'm Taylor Amos. Uh, I raise flu cure tobacco in Franklin County. I have around 70 acres and uh, this is my first year using Actisol. Uh, use it in my transplant water at the rate of a gallon to a gallon to a gallon and a half per acre. Uh, I'm very satisfied with the results. I used it on around 55 to 60 acres I believe and I could tell down to the road where it had it and didn't have it. Um, as of right now, I would say it, using the product, I could say that there's probably a two to 300 pound per acre gain. Um, this behind me had it, was applied when I planted the crop. And uh, like I say, I'm very satisfied with it. And uh, it's my first year using it and I'm gonna try it on some wheat that we're gonna sow next week and see how it works with that. Uh, as as you know, Dr. Shaban, we, we, we put the benefit of the acetol here uh, to correct the nutrition, less cost, and more uh, production rates. Uh, so, we promote the physical, chemical, and the biological benefits of the soil uh, and increase the, the biomass of microorganisms in the soil to increase the fertility of the soil. Also, it is prevent the leaching of uh, chemical uh, fertilizer through the irrigation water, mainly in the uh, very sand or very sand uh, soil, good sand soil, uh, increase the ability of the plant to benefit from the added fertilizer and increase the ability of the plant uh, for increasing the, the pest salinity, drought stress. Uh, this is uh, most important. Date farm project of uh, Sali Abdurraj establishment with 650 hectares area and roundabout we have uh, 60,000 farms existing now and uh, in uh, next season we are going to put more 20,000 and this project will be around about 80,000 farms, 80,000 farms and uh, we are trying so many uh, chemicals here to make vegetatively farm is good and uh, they are, uh, make it resistant against the conditions which are here against the, this. Uh, uh, we don't allow us to grow it normally. For example, the salt content and the environmental conditions. And we have tried Actosol also here and we expect some good results. And uh, nowadays we see some vegetative growth is some, uh, something promising and we hope that in future also we will get some good results from Actosol. Though there are problems of salt and uh, water is with salt and soil is with salt and uh, climatic conditions are not favorable. So we need some uh, products which can make plants resistant against these unfavorable conditions. And I feel that Exosol may help us in this case.
In the past several years, we've been working with materials called biostimulants. In this particular experiment, we're looking at measuring the vigor of, of bent grass using biostimulants, which include humic acids, uh, triazole fungicides, and cytokinins, as well as civic acid and uh, indole acetic acid. But what we've done, we've put wear stress on this last year, and we can measure the vigor of the turf by looking at the poannual seed heads. We see the infestation now of the desirable uh, bent grasses and the reduction of the undesirable poa. So this experiment here, what we're doing with high pH soils, putting different types of iron on and comparing them to ferrous sulfate with and without different amounts of humic acids. Humic acid is a uh, chelating agent and therefore uh, we're able to keep the ferrous sulfate in, in the form uh, of ferrous iron rather than going to ferric which is unavailable to the plant. What we do is measure the leaf water potential and in all cases we have found that the humic acid has enhanced the efficiency of the ferrous uh, sulfate and we think through a chelation process and this influences the water relations of the plant giving us better root growth, top growth and we're also interested in, in the relationship to diseases. As we, our knowledge develops we think we're often the turf manager, an excellent tool for in enhancing turf grass culture. We package this product in 55 gallon drums, two gallon containers as well as uh, 32 ounce core containers for retail use. Uh, we have uh, currently here at this plant, uh, as I mentioned before, capabilities of producing 250,000 gallons a year where we mix the product and go through the formulation process in 1,000 gallon vats. It is then uh, put into process of pumping into a computerized bottling machine where we can uh, very quickly uh, package the product to be shipped uh, throughout the United States as well as certain parts of, of Europe and Asia. Worldwide, if your business is landscaping, golf course maintenance, commercial farming, department of highways, hydro seeding, or other expert applications, you'll find professional Actisol to be a unique and easy to use product. Proactazole works in harmony with most insecticide, herbicide, and fertilizer. Hence, Actisol can be directly applied to your tank mix. A compatibility test should be performed, however, according to the manufacturer's specifications. Actisol is applied at a rate of 2 to 5 gallons per acre. Soil that is low in organic matter may initially require 5 gallons per acre, whereas a 2 gallon per acre rate would be sufficient for above average soil. For your clients who are do-it-yourself homeowners, Actisol is available in two products, Lawn Actisol and Garden Actisol. Both Lawn and Garden Actisol are available in a ready-to-use 32 ounce container. Application is easy. Simply attach either product to the garden hose and begin spraying. Garden Actisol will cover 1,000 square feet and Lawn Actisol covers five times that amount. The bottom line, Actisol will restore any soil to that rich organic matter which promotes deep, thick roots and lush green top growth.